Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time, my name is Joachim and today we'll be unboxing Overbooked. Now if you've been watching my wishlist videos then you know that this uh, was a uh, bot a while ago so this, this video was coming, okay? Funny thing already is uh, it's Overbooked by Daryl Chow but it actually has Dutch on here, genomineerd 2020speelgoed20jaar.nl So uh, it's kind of cool. Anyway, 8 plus. 30 minutes, one to four players, and uh, it's kind of like between luck and strategy, you know, a little bit more to the strategy side. Let's take a look at the signs. You can see it's still in the, the film, so here we go. Oh, this is actually upside down. That's strange. It's actually the same thing, right? Same cover. This is the back. So I decided to really get this. I decided to get this because um, it seemed to be out of print or at least in my neighborhood. So that's why I quickly want to get it. You can see here, it plays fairly quickly. Choose a card, place passengers, score points. It's as simple as that. But it does look really nice. So let's open this. Okay, plastic is gone. So let's open it. And I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be any art on the inside. Nope, there is not. Okay, so we have, first of all, we have these two, which I think I'll probably be putting in here or no or I don't know what it's exactly for but of course there are punch outs maybe it's for the tower that they have it's in the game could be I guess I'll find out later we have these cubes I'm not gonna take them out they're just your regular typical cubes nothing special uh, let's take a look at the cards because the cards sometimes have nice art and uh, I'm always interested in that a lot so we can always see there are event cards so event cards, I put these here. We have passport cards, different colors. And they're all different uh, colors here. So let's take a look at the passport cards first. I guess this is what people are carrying around. They're just different types of uh, luggages in different orders. So no need to really go through this. Okay, it's all very similar. Uh, just go farther. Okay, here we're starting to see people as well. Or maybe it's an aisle, I don't know. And then later on is the really big ones. Okay. Like the black ones, remember? So, okay, those are the passports. Then we have the events. Adorable kids, buddy time, corner seats, couples retreats. It's kind of cool they have all the names, even though visually it's pretty basic. But yeah, Lonely Christmas, so sad. We've all been there, right? Right? I know I have, at least once, been on a plane at that point. Okay, so then we have the punch boards, and I really like the art, you know. The art is pretty cool, um, cartoonish style. Yeah, this is first open like this, apparently. Hup. So this is already a player board of the blue player. You can see it's double-sided. This is one to three players. And I'm sure when we flip it over, now we have four players, even though it's upside down. I'll show like this. The toilet uh, with fish in it, okay. The kitchen, uh, all right. This is on the back of the other boards that we saw. So, yeah, all right. Then we have this here as well, which I guess is the flight desks. Pretty nice, art-wise. Yeah, it looks very cool. So apparently this was a Kickstarter, and then uh, it was bought up by a different company, so Jumbo, and then they redesigned it, kind of, and changed the art and so on. So apparently the Kickstarter looks different, also plays kind of different. So I like that everything is looks different as well. Uh, but I think the plane itself is actually the same. Like the seeds do not change, of course. So, hop. Well, let's just take this out. Make it a little bit easier. Hop. No. Ah, Superman. Um, and then we have here a lot of uh, passengers. And I like that they're, they're all different. You know, it's like the same passenger over and over again. You could say, okay, they just change the color scheme a little bit, but even then, um, I imagine if it's on, if they're on your plane, it looks very different. So these are the parts for the tower. Okay. 
And the back one in the back doesn't really look that interesting. Okay. Aha, here we have the the ladders. This, well, not ladders, this the stairs. And then more passengers. Okay. Aha, and you hear red. It's actually kind of pinkish. Uh, cool guy. <laughs> cool stuff. And they're all just really, really trying to get in. Yeah, that's cool. I really, really like the art on this one, I have to say. Yeah, yeah. Really looks nice. And then what else is in this part? We already had the uh, stairs and some more stuff here. The back, I imagine, will not be anything special. No. More passengers of different colors. There we go. Yeah. Like I said, they look really cool. I keep repeating myself, but it's true. Here we have the green player. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> and what is going on here? Yeah. The art is, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a fan for sure. For sure. And, uh, the back, of course, is the same, right? Although, once again, oh, here's Harry Potter who's hanging on the side of the plane. Okay. That's not the case here. So now I wonder with the other guys who is hanging on the side of the plane there. So we had Superman, we had Harry Potter. What about the pink plane? Ah, oh, it's a cat. Okay. And then the blue one. It is, it is, it is, it is. Let me just take it out real quick. Wow, an octopus. Cool. <laughs> All right, so in this set section here, we already saw these guys, and then here there's, uh, I think these are player aids. Yeah, look like player aids for sure. Okay, cool. And then this is the actual airport. Luchador, cool. Yeah, there's other stuff to see in here, you know. Uh, there's even a robot, Superman is here. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then opens up like this. So these are the empty ones at the back. And this is the front, which I'll move around a bit oh, to show you these two, the other two flight desks of the other colors. All right. And then we have another one of these. Okay. And then we have the rule book, which is all the way at the bottom. Like this. Up. Now I'm going to put it like this, the cards go up, this flips over, this flips over, and I put the rule book on top, and let's take a look at it. So, this is the, these are the Dutch rules, and I can't really see where these things are actually used, because they're not used in tower, obviously. Yeah, I don't understand really where those, where those are. Maybe it is just in the box. Uh, probably in the box, yeah. It's just in the box. Insert. Okay, so this is all Dutch. Let's see if I can find the English. Here we go. There we go. So, yeah, it seems to be fairly simple to play. It seems to be mostly choosing your passengers, where you're going to put them, and then the points that they gather, uh, they get you. Okay, nice. We also have game variants for frequent flyers to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, and then the solo game as well. They have different scenarios, which is nice. Three scenarios. Okay, cool. Better than nothing. Okay, and I think that's it. That is the Harry Potter. That is the end of this unboxing overbooked you can uh, expect some videos about this as well sooner or later because it's solo mode and apparently only 30 minutes so it's very easy to do we're going to do a reboxing of overbooked because uh there's no clear way to do it so i decided to make a quick video about this so here we go can you open the tile the tile the box this is what i've done so first of all you have the uh, stairs all right then on the right side, you have the starting, um, no, not the starting, you have the uh, flight desks of all the players, like this, all right? Then you have the uh, player aids. Then you have the scoreboard, or your scoreboard, yeah. And then you have the, the hall, all right? And then you have all the uh, player boards. 
and then the manual. I put the manual here because it covers the most space to stop stuff from flying around. Now I could easily put all of this in different uh, boxes, little containers, but for now I'm just keeping it like this. So basically each passenger color has their own space because they're not supposed to be mixed in the game. They're kept separately. It's the cards that decide which ones come out. The tower, you have to disassemble it, but the top one stays assembled, as you can see, right? Even though it's a little bit loose. I guess you could glue it. Uh, this part is, of course, loose as well. When it has the start, um, the uh, the wings here, the tokens for the players, and then all the cards are here. Obviously, they are uh, unsleeved, but the cards can go here, or they can also go here, potentially. So you could put this somewhere else and uh, still have some room for more cards if you just put it, uh, some stuff here as well. So you could sleeve them as well. There's uh, There should be space enough, right? So that's basically how I did it. That's where everything goes. Just put the uh, rule book back on top, then the uh, boards, maybe even better like this. So it covers more space on the side. So once again, the things don't go too flying too much then the actual airports, the uh, player aids, scoreboard, the starting uh, flight desks, and then just these stairs. And that's it. No lift, no nothing. Everything fits nicely. And that is the reboxing of uh, overbooked for the, the few people I think out there who are looking for it. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Sony Games for the time. And it was Joachim. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.